So that's the Bluetooth module making a noise. And in a moment, there will be uh, there. There will be the Bluetooth device. So automatically, it will set it to there. So. Then uh, copyright music. Oops. Figuring out you and me. Yeah, you get the drift. So the thing now is that um, where shall I shall I put it? So. So this is what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to desolder this uh, audio connection. And this is going to the auxiliary input. Okay, so I cut it in two. And uh, in more room I can even take more on this side also. So, And this board is all, only hold down by uh, a couple of solder joints. And a double sided tape underneath a thick one. So it doesn't short out. So yeah, so now I should be able to fit it in here somewhere. <laughs> well um, when I got to think of it, these two holes here, the one up there, and the one down there, they align up with these mounting posts here. And now that the board is uh, much shorter, it can fit between here. No problems. And this tube is uh, far inside, so there's got a lot of room here. Because you can see this uh, regulator is protruding out. So then, well, the board is a bit wide, but I can take and um, cut off this part on the top here so it gets uh, narrower but still then maybe it's a bit uh, wide uh, another thing you can do is mount it like this like this somehow <laughs> um, yeah, a thing I can do then is use one of these. Uh, I'm supposed to go somewhere else, but uh, one of these. Pa um, what is it called? Yeah, it's a spong spongy thing, so you can sandwich things without being worried about uh, yeah short circuits and stuff. So if you put the spongy thing there and then um, this board on top, maybe easier to see it if I put it like this. Then I can go to town <laughs> on it. Let's see how far inside can we go. So it's like this wide. Now I'm close, but I'm just using it for reference. I can see there's still room to the tube, so that's fine. So yeah, I think I will do that. I shall, I shall bend this one without shorting anything because it goes so close to the transformer there so like this it's a bit floppy isn't it so I should clean that up make these leads shorter and perhaps glue them down 
to the board maybe like this like this uh, maybe they short out if I do that it is missing its plugs I will just borrow some uh, or take some uh, wire from this and I will replace all those yellow hard wires so I can get some flexible ones such that when I have soldered it uh, it's easier to mount them back because these are so stiff so they ruin everything here I start bending them things start to break yep thin this cable I'm just attach it here and then Touch all the power thing and then neatly mount uh, the module inside. It's a bit difficult to get my head in here because, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, board goes down all the way here. You can see there's uh, this wall here. I will put the double side tape here and then I will put the um, the spongy thing and put tape on that also and uh, mount it here so and then I will keep the board on the outside here and mount all the cabling and then stick it down later so let's do that let's do the taping first To my place. Yeah, I think I'll just turn on it now. Uh, this is a mistake, but uh, yeah, let's just do it now. I'm impatient. I'm getting impatient. So. Oh, no. Yeah, things all right down here. And, yeah, stick it down. Keep all the wires loose in the air. Loose wires are great because then I don't pick up anything. Noise or anything. So there, stick down. I could have glued this also, but. <laughs> so now let's connect the cables again and see if it works. Uh, so let's connect power. Let's see if it works. That's a good sign. But that noise is not such a good sign. Now I have the module in here, as you can see. And you can see here the audio is so smaller, it's so weak, so we have to make it louder. Of course, there's noise because if you wind up the amplification, you get the noise, but if you can wind it down, it's, it's a little bit noise, but it's okay. Hey, Christmas songs. Jingle bells. <laughs> do -do -do -do. I hope I don't get copyrighted. Sorry for this camera, it's uh, focusing 
constantly, so we have a, a nice, oh, nice, 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 oh, it's nice, it's a Commodore 64, it's noise and stripe fix, and then it's noise here from the antenna, and there's noise from the camera. <laughs> oh, we live in a world full of noise. I'm uh, wondering what happens if I connect something else on the auxiliary input. So try that. So what happens if I connect this now? You hear the TV and and the MP and the Bluetooth at the same time. It doesn't work very well. Yeah. So it works, but uh, I can't really have aux and Bluetooth at the same time to listen to music. You can hear the difference now. Much louder. A terrible song. <laughs> oh yeah. Yep. I think it's a success, so let's put the cover on then. It works.